Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Happily Ever Caffeinated, the weekly wedding video series where we get stupid high on coffee and talk about weddings. I am your host, Jesse Stellick, co-founder of Photo Bohemia, and I'm here today with Amber of Amber Beach Designs, and they do design and styling for meaningful events, beautiful events, and we're going to be talking about the difference um, between being a planner and being a designer, which I didn't realize that there was one. So let's do this. I've, I've heard wedding designer, I've heard wedding planner. I'm so bad because I thought they were the same thing. Like I use them interchangeably not right. knowing that there was a difference. Educate us, educate me. What is the difference? Yes, yeah, so a lot of planners do both. Okay. And I did originally do both. Okay. And I decided to focus on design because that's where my heart was. Yeah. And I wanted to really hone in on the details of the wedding and making those details meaningful for the couple. Right. So how do they, like, how does that interface with a planner? Like, do they hire a planner first and then the planner recommends you? Or how does that work overall in the scheme of wedding planning? Well, I love working with planners. Okay. Um, Time-wise, it's great to have a planner on board first, I think, because they help you navigate and the overall. Exactly. They'll guide you in making the right decisions and looking over contracts and negotiating those and recommending vendors, and that's always good to have on board as soon as you can. Right. The difference in what I do is I sit down with couples and I get to know them on a personal level and I help them bring their design and style to fruition for their event. Uh, so we get to know about how they met and what they like to do for date night and just things that they like to do together and what makes them unique and we try to bring that out in the wedding and celebrate that and so the ultimate goal is when their guests are there they're comfortable and they walk in to the wedding and they say wow this is so them because yeah. it's a celebration of who they are as a couple you're creating an experience you're creating like i guess for wedding planner like i feel like wedding planners it's you're thinking about everything you're thinking about your vendors and your timeline and your budgeting and your this and that your sole focus being design, it allows you to really focus on the experience and the composition of things and exactly. making things flow. Mm -hmm. I love that. Is, is there anything that you've really loved working on recently that is something that you feel like is it, it kind of showcases what it means to be a designer? Yeah, so uh, I just launched Back to the Table with Salt Block Catering. I saw that on Facebook. I liked it. I loved it. Because you, you can love it. And now. I appreciate that. Oh, it's the the concept of it was beautiful. Tell tell them the concept. Yeah, so I had this idea to bring Tampa together by having a pop-up dinner party. And it's something that we're going to be doing about every month and a half or so. And it's different a locations chance, or yes. okay. Yes. So and it's a chance for Tampa to get together and share a meal and have that sense of community. And um, if you notice in my design, you'll see that there's lots of farm tables. Everyone's at one table sharing that meal and the experience. Um, so I'm really showcasing that in these dinners. Um, it's a wonderful four-course four course dinner. Um, and the chef comes out, talks to you about the meal. And it's amazing to watch the relationships that are built around that table. Yeah. And just being able to create a beautiful experience for that is something that I'm very proud of. I feel like people, they relate to each other over food. Like yes. food brings everybody together. Absolutely. And when you can incorporate beauty into that, like to show that whole experience, that's such a great, Thank you. Can't, I want to go to the next one. You should. I was working the, the day of the first one, but I would love to go to the next one. So thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing your experience and how, how that all comes together and for educating me and possibly them as well. Very, very nice to just have you here and to be able to talk about how that all works. Thank you. Thank you. Always question with the Q. Questions help us learn things new. Question marks are very cool, especially when you're in school. Always question when you try. You'll find who, what, where, when, why. Question marks are very fun. Let's break them down now one by one.